All right, we have our window framed in. We have our cripples in and our header. Now, in this segment, what we're going to do is we're going to finish out the bottom of the window. We're going to put in our cripple studs. We're going to put in our window sill plates. And we're going to follow the layout that we have in place. So let's get started. The first step is to measure out how big our window is going to be. Now, we have a six foot wide opening and we, we're going to have a six by three window, so we're going to come down three feet. Now, most windows, if they're vinyl windows these days, they just go net-net. So that means when you put in the window, you do the rough measurement, just like the window says, if it's six foot wide and three foot by three foot, you do a six foot wide by three foot opening. And the window company makes the window a little bit smaller and it should fit in that window. But always check with your window company before you do your framing because rough openings for wood windows and aluminum windows and vinyl windows sometimes can be different. So I measure from the top because I know my, header, my window's gonna go all the way up to the header. Now, if you really want to make it hard on yourself, you can measure the whole stud, the cripple stud, and then say, okay, take off three feet from 93 inches and minus, and you don't want to do all that. It's easiest, just measure straight down, you make your mark, and then you measure back up again to get your cripple stud length. So, try to get this just to go nice and quick and easy so you can just get through this step and move on to your next part of the building. We can start right here, we're going we're gonna to measure down from the top, from the header, down, and mark three feet. Okay? I'm going to just do this, I'm going to put two X's because I know I'll have two sill plates coming across. Here's a cool tip. Tri-squares are really handy because they really make your life go a lot easier. You can do things a lot faster with them. And the one that I like to use when I'm framing, since all dimensional lumber usually is by inch and a half, if it says two by its inch and a half, I just make a little mark on my tri-square at an inch and a half. So I'll put a line across at my crow's foot, and then I'll come down on my tri-square here to an inch and a half, which is right there. And I'll make another line, and I'll come down to that line, and I'll make another line. And so those are my sill plates. I'm going to measure up to that point from the sole plate to get the length of my cripple studs. And I'll do this on this side, and I'll do it on that side. You see how you have your mark here, and you can see the line, your original line right across here. I just slide down, and I meet that line, and I make my mark. And then I move it down to the mark I just made. I see the line again, and I make my second mark. And so what that does is it gives me a nice section for my uh, sill plate, for my window sill plate. Now I'm going to have a double plate. And I do a double plate on a window because it gives a nice meaty section. So when you do your trim around your window, you have a nice place to nail. Some people just put one uh, window sill plate on. Once you get the window on and the window fin and everything, if you don't have a nice place to nail on your trim, your trim can start getting a little bit weavy. So I always put it on a double, double window sill trim. It's an extra piece of wood but it really makes it a lot more sturdy and it makes it easier in the end run. So I'll repeat the process on this cripple right here and just stay with me. And and I'm ready to move on to my next step. All right, we have our sole plates marked on our cripple studs now what we're going to do is most people would say yes now we can cut a bunch of studs and build this thing well that would be the easiest thing you'd think but we have a trick for you if we cut our sill plate first we can slide it right on down to the pl lower plate and we can mark where our studs are that way when we go ahead and nail it down we'll have a place to put our studs and i'll sh I'll, I'll i'll show that to you but this is the quickest way to do it, so you don't have to get out your tape measure and start measuring again on, on the sill plate. You basically can do that just by laying it down on the lower plate and matching the, the layout that's on that plate. Remember, when you're measuring for your window sill plate, 
you measure where your plate's going to go. Now I'm at 72 and 1 16th here. You do not, on the other hand, want to measure down here because if there's any variance of your from cripple to cripple, in other words, if they're in a little bit, you go ahead and, and uh, cut that length. When you get up to the top here, it's going to be too short or too long. So always measure the wood at the area where you're going to put it in. So again, I think I'm at 72 and 1 16th. I'm going to cut it at 72. That's six foot, just what our opening should be. Home Improvement Camp. Have at it.